welcome 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 to my channel if you're new and welcome 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 if you're coming back love and appreciate everyone so much thank you so much for being here and being you um but today i'm going to share my planner system that i'm using currently and it's a three book system or three part system i guess you could say because i'm not i'm only using let's see one book and two ring planners so i'll start off with the main planner which is housing in my velvet sand from bed respect and it's in the personal size and I have the fly leaf with it. I did get some customizations with this. I'll put them in the description box below in case you're interested. Um, and just looking over here, this is the Nomad pocket layout if you're curious and if you want to get a band of spec and you like this layout. It costs a little bit extra, but I really like the pocket uh, pockets on it. So I, I got some cards in here. This one's from Aesthetic Paper Co. And it just says appointment on it. So you can write your appointments. And then this is a card from Basic Invite that I um, designed and a card from SAV, the round one. Then this is Queen City Designs routine card, Queen City Designs um, journaling card there. I really love it. And then this is from Queen City Designs as well. This planner belongs to. And then this card here is from um, Cloth and Paper. Then we have this guy here is a uh, new release. It's from Solely Paper. That's like a tarot kind of card, but for planners. We love it. And then this is from Rosie Papatrini Scissor, or not, those are scissors, what am I saying? I just had a seizure yesterday, actually. It's my third one. Um, we're not totally, oh, see, there's the teddy. We always love the teddy, right? I'll just well, like, explain, I'll let him be in the camera shot. <laughs> yeah, I just, I had my third seizure yesterday, this year, and we're having, okay, no, with Teddy, now when you're messing with the tripod, I got to ask you to leave, please. Thank you. Um, the third one this year, we don't know why I'm getting them yet. I see my neurologist next month. But I'm totally fine. I'm totally fine. They only last about a minute. And actually, well, one, two of them were witnessed by my fiance and one was by myself. But I only just like, I didn't swallow my tongue or anything like that. I heard that's a myth actually. But I did like kind of bite my tongue pretty bad and I was convulsing and stuff like that. Uh, so he says, and I only went to the hospital the first time I ever got it. The other two I didn't because we kind of know what to expect now. Teddy. And um, sorry about that. I had to move Teddy out of the way and I bumped the mic if you heard that and then yeah so anyways so the, my memory gets really really bad after them that's what I was going to say so I did write a bunch of places down um going through it like I looked back in my computer to figure out where they're from Teddy please and so yeah so if I forget a couple places I'm so sorry please ask me in the comments and I will dig into it further to let you know where anything is from long story short right and then, okay, so this piece, this, I don't need planner piece. I need my planner and some band piece. It's from Queen City Designs. This floral card is from Cat Espresso Co. Then this is from Studio 17. It's a principal. And I printed it on acetate. Then this um, the February card is one of my freebies, actually. It comes in a pack of 12 months. And then this card here is from Planner Press. And then this one's from Queen City Designs. But I made, I put the page flags on and made the labels myself. And this random shit is brand new. Well, it's like a couple days old and I got it from Sand Doodle's desk. I also got these dividers. I'll show you coming up from Sand Doodle's desk and I love them so much. Really great shop on Etsy. And she's in Canada too like me, so it wasn't super long for shipping or whatever. She just has to make everything. Then this is a Caspresso Co. 3 card pocket holder with um, in, uh, images from Pinterest. This guy is from Kubo and Lucy. It's a freebie. And then another, oh, this one's from Plan X Do. These card pocket holders that hold three by three cards. And this one's from Pinterest that I, it's cloth and paper image so that, that I copied or saved on Pinterest and made on Canva and printed it out. Then this guy's from Posh Papa Tree. These are, this is Posh Papa Tree as well. And then this one's from Pinterest. Then this year at a glance is from the Infinite Lotus. And here's another one of my freebies that says 24. And then this guy, I had to look up back in my computer to figure out who made it. I just can't remember. It's from the Neutral Planner. She's on Etsy. This was something I made on Canva, inspired by Salty 22's cards, but she doesn't sell them anymore. So I tried to make something similar to it. This one's from Kubo and Lucy, I believe. And this is from Studio 17. It's an old freebie. This little half dash, it's cool. It's some glass plastic. It's from um, cloth and paper. And I used my Posca white marker, paint marker, to um, make these images. And then I can just erase it with... I think I have to use water or it's coming off with my finger actually. Water or um, acetate. And then these are the dividers, which I love so much. They're like a low profile cl clear plastic and they're not super thick. They're really nice and thin, but they're very durable. So like they come in a pack of, actually you can choose as many as you want. You can even choose like two, um, I believe. Don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure. I chose six because I, you know, I don't skimp on the sections in here. <laughs> Then I have an inbox dashboard with a point hunt sticky note and a cloth and paper sticky note. 
This beautiful velvet dashboard is from Sticky Monster Co. Love the paint effect. This is a table of contents from Hey Planner Girl. Um, I'm sure you've seen it before, it's very popular. Um, you can actually plug in your own words into here so you can customize it totally to your sections. Cloth and paper ruler, cloth and paper inbox insert, and another cloth and paper insert, the priority matrix. So just there's just places more to priority or categorize your thoughts. And this one's inspired by Elmon Paper Co. She has one, but the boxes are a little bit more gray and she doesn't have inbox there, but like kind of the design a little bit is. So I wanted to emulate that. I wanted to let her know it's really amazing. I actually did buy the one for personal rings too from her. And then this one is from Watch Becca Plans. It's a freebie and she has beautiful freebies as well and functional ones. This one's a freebie from Squizzle Bear. <laughs> oh, sorry. Break. I, my dog started barking at another dog across the street as they do, as they do. But as I was saying, this is a cloth and paper sticky note and this print is from Squizzleberry. It's a freebie actually. Totally recommend checking out her freebies because they're amazing as well. And this is a freebie from Peanuts Planner Co with the monthlies on it. This is from Elma Paper Co. It's actually from 2022, but I just love the design. I love her nude colors that she used to use. So there's a year to glance, but you could still use this um, yearly um, too if you wanted to because there's no dates on this part, but I just love the look of it. So. I threw it in here and my minimal planner cloth and paper this is inspired by my oh no sorry this is from cat queen city designs queen city designs you can get anything you want um boiled on acetate this is inspired by my written gallery in amanda lee plans this design and like the fonts and the layout a cat's espresso co pocket that has florals on it front and back two pockets on the front and back, front and back too this is a cloth and paper dashboard if you can kind of see it has white lettering on it I can't remember where this pocket's from. It has a top insert there. It might actually be from AliExpress and I got a whole pack of them. I think that's actually where it's from. And I got a pack for really cheap. I would check AliExpress. They have lots of pockets on there too. And everything in here is from Pinterest or I made the fast cards. Then this is an Elmont Paper Co. dashboard. Then here's my next section. So the first section was inbox. This is trackers. And I have a lines plus paper um, goals tracker. This is a new release and I really like it for tracking your goals, like what it's called. On the back, there's a habit tracker. So I put like declutter every day, cat litter every day, read every day, work on the den every day, like decluttering it and exercise every day. So those all align with the goals that I've set for myself this year. And it also has a progress um, line board thingy that you can highlight um, progress tracker, I guess. For progress log is what she calls it. And then you have to do's down here. So I always try to align the to do's and everything with my goals to help them get done. This is from Sand Doodle's desk as well. And I just got my name put on it with the white border. This is a freebie from Rosie Papa Tree. And here's a Cat's Bressico three card pocket holder again with task cards that I made. And then this divider here is a printable from Salty22 and it says tracker as well because I also wanna to get to this tracker as fast as I can if I need to, if I wanna use it. So I write on um, my mood here and these ones are kind of general moods that I write. And then on the back is the habits that I track like meds, skincare, 10 minute walk, no soda, not doing well with no soda if you can tell, um, vitamins, five year hobo, stuff like that. And then I flip to my mood tracker that I fill out every day. And I think I'm two days behind though. Uh, that I use with a scale of one to 10, 10 being the worst, one being the best. And I put the number here and then I also write a little blurb of what happened that day or why I felt the way I felt just so I can maybe reference back if I ever need to. Then I have my appreciate each day from my minimal planner, which I write to use a gratitude every day. Then this is a cloth and paper. This was a freebie actually from Sand Doodle's desk, amazing. Cloth and paper dashboard. Paper plans dashboard, they're not in business anymore, unfortunately. This is a minimal light on Etsy dashboard. You can tell it's got the new dots. Then we're on to my monthly section. So I kind of changed around my system. I use trackers are second, monthlies are third. So I put it to in line of the things that I use most on um, each day in line. And then this is from cloth and paper. It's a, I cut up the spiral bound um, vellum, that's what this is called. And I cut it down to personal size so I could use it in here because I'm not using the social um, or the spiral planner. Actually, I was thinking about using it for a social media planner. So stay tuned for that. Then I have a year to glance from cloth and paper with the holidays. Then I have these monthly joy dividers that are, have, go from January to December. I'm only keeping three months in here at a time. I have like, the past month and the current month and then the next month. 
so I can reference back because I need to look at like doctor's appointments a lot of stuff too and I write everything and anything down if you can't tell on my um, monthly even times when I just like slept a lot because I have some chronic illnesses so I'll write that down too because it's good to tell your doctor and that's why I keep this in here for my future doctor's appointments and these are actually a printable and I printed them on a thick vellum that I got off Amazon and from monthly joy the one who I get the um, mood tracker from. And then, so here's my monthly from Noted. So that's January and then February is coming up. I have a little stay there as well. So here's February so far. This is a cloth and paper divider that came with a spiral planner as well, but I cut it to personal size, hole punched it and put slits in it to pop it in and out easy. This is my word of the month from My Minimal Planner and this is a freebie. And then this was a freebie as well from Grow Gently. And it just ha so happened to have my word of the month in there. So I was like, perfect, I'll put it by my monthly. And then I have a month in here and I only have one appointment so far for March. And then these are pictures that I, we took at a special place to honor my fiance's mother who passed away a few years ago. And this is from Mishi Plans. It's an idea from her that you just use these, um, they're tabs and these ones are specifically from the dollar store and you just put the sticky part on the picture and then you hole punch the sticky part of the tab and then you just pop it in your planner and it works so well so I thought that was a brilliant idea sand doodles desk cloth and paper this is Latua notes uh, cat espresso co pocket holder with sk journals and the neutral planner this is from maria plans and then we go into my weeklies so we use cloth and paper vertical lined weeklies and it comes with some note pages so it comes with a da dashboard, two note pages, and then it goes right into the weeklies. For one of the note pages, I use a monthly master to-do list. And this little half dash is from Perfective Paper, just for another reference of the monthly quickly in this section, even though there's a monthly right here, <laughs> but for the dates and stuff. So I write appointments and stuff on the top, and then underneath I'll write any like two tasks or something to do, and I have a master and weekly task list over here. And it goes from Monday to Sunday. This is this week. And I use like little stickers and stuff too when I want to spice it up. So I keep one month of weeklies in here. And then I got some more pictures and I write my goals for the month on the other notes page at the end of the month weeklies. Then I have this extra tab here because I actually only needed five tabs, but I wanted to use all six to make it like in line. So I have one here that says meals and I'm going to start meal planning, I hope, and meal prepping. So these are from Send Men Planner Co. And this company, when you buy one insert, it comes with like seven or eight different sizes. It's absolutely amazing. I totally recommend it's on Etsy. So yeah, that's a really Sandman Planner Co. If you need me to spell it out, just pop it in the comments there. And then yeah, so totally amazing. So this is the monthly planner or weekly planner, sorry. Uh, this is Sam Doodle's desk again, Planet Stow, EO Edits, the neutral planner. And this is cloth and paper dashboard here. This guy is from Cats, or no, from Aesthetic Paper Co. And it's got the LV inspired design. This one is from Noted Company. Cloth and paper. This is a, I think this is a freebie. I'll check of mine. If you specifically want it, I'll make sure it's up there, but I can't quite remember. Um, it's daily affirmation. Anything worth having takes time. And then another photo in there. And then I have this Noted Company freebie card that came with my order. So my pet appreciation section and family. And then I have a mindful reflection to insert from cloth and paper. Then Cat's Presico pocket with some more deco in there. And we go on to my list section. Then another um, pocket just to jazz it up. And then this is a cloth and paper insert that you got from the sub box. This is a rosy life planner that um, today tab. Then I have some half pages like for grocery shopping or whatnot from SAB that I printed out and cut. These are from Infinite Lotus, these tasks, these lists. I don't have a lot of lists in here right now. I kind of, what I do is I write a list and then if I want to keep it long-term, I transfer it to the next planner that I'm going to show you. Or if I, it's just a short-term one, I'll kind of rip it out of here when I'm all finished with it so this doesn't get super chunky. So that's why I have a lot of plain ones in here. Um, what's back here? Some to-dos and I have my February and my monthly goals back here for the year as well so I can reference those. This is from Amazon, this page lifter. And then I just have like a February card from Cloth and Paper. This guy's from Cloth and Paper too. I put my own labels on there. This is from Floor Papa Tree. And yeah, so that is my main planner setup. And so I use this every day. And then for my extension planner, I really wanted to slim it down. This is a Filofax Compact. And this is a Oli clip. 
So we opened her straight up and I love this planner so much. I don't know why, I just have really good memories with it for traveling and stuff. So I just, cause obviously it's really slim so it doesn't take up a lot of room in your bag. And I love it so much. It's got really tiny little rings. Not as small as like the LVPM or anything like that, but it's still pretty tiny. But I feel like these are just the perfect size if you want a small amount. So I just have some cards over here. Then this is an old, old card holder from like a day runner planner that I found at the thrift store. And then I made these task cards in there. Then we have a dashboard and another dashboard from Back to Basics, front and back. This is a freebie from Back to Basics. And then we have another Cat's Brussico pocket with a cloth and paper card, two of them, and then an aesthetic paper comb, memo. And then an inbox dashboard in here. And then I have these um, dividers, this section covers from Back to Basics as well. So I just have an inbox in here. So if I have any ideas or anything that I wanna drop down, I just have a section to do that. So I also have some lined paper in here. And then I'm just using that inbox right now. And then this is just a little fly leaf to spice it up. And then I just have three dividers in here and they're from Aesthetic Paper Co. And so I don't need a lot of sections in this one. So I really like these dividers for this purpose and they're etched too. So I have some more trackers that I don't use every day. Some of them I use every day, but I can always catch up or it's not like a, total whoops it's not a total failure if i don't get to it every day so i have my cleaning tracker from perfective paper then i have recurring tasks that are yearly um so i only use some of them monthly that's why i don't need to look at it every day from peanuts planner co a little ruler there from infinite lotus this guy's from peanuts planner co as well and it's her part of her yearly fold out bundle and i use this to record what days are garbage or recycling is getting picked up I just have these little stickers that have those meanings on it, or that's what they mean, because they're little garbage cans or recycling cans. And so I just have the whole year for that. And But I, we only know, our city only lets us know up until like a couple months. So I don't have the whole year in there because it changes after each holiday, stat holiday. And then this is from Peanuts Planner Co as well. And it's my cycle tracker. I just put a dot on the day it started, a dot on the day I finished, and then connect it with a ruler. And I have a habit tracker for reading my Bible for May Paper Co. This is an Infinite Lotus following tracker, just for funsies, just for funsies. And then this is a noted company dashboard for Year to Glance. This is from The Organized, a new company that I found some dashboards with, which I really love. So it comes with a half dash there and another one here. And then I have my finances section. So this one is just covering up my January calendar. because so I use a year at a glance, or one month at a glance, from Rosie Papa Tree for my finances, just to reference my bills that are coming out if I don't wanna pull out my finance planner. And these are just some notes of things that I need to pay on my next bill. I have an online orders tracker from May Paper Co. This is a return tracker that I made that I posted as a freebie. This is May Paper Co printable. Then this is cloth and paper wish list. Uh, Infinite Lotus wish list which puts into more details. So ones that I really, really want are gonna be long-term, like saving up for a long time for a Louis Vuitton purse. <laughs> I don't know if that's ever gonna happen, but that's one of my dream items. So I keep those on there. This is a gift list from Pants Planner Co. And this is for other people's gift planning. And then I just have some dashboards in here. This is from, oh no, it's from Etsy. Planner Press on Etsy, I believe. If I'm wrong, let, let me know and I'll look it up. And then this is my minimal planner. Queen City Designs. And then, oh, I have a little yearly section here, I forgot. Then this house is my memories. So it's from Paper Test Designs. And I write down anything that has, anything that's big that happened that month, good or bad. So I write that in the month blurb area. This is a the planner spot fold out. Um, uh, what is it called? Oh my gosh, here's my Caesar brain coming in. Fold out, insert, there we go. <laughs> and I have all of last year's medical appointments on there, just in case I need to reference those. Then this is one of my freebies, it's for planner sizes. And then I just have a Filofax little clear dashboard there for like a page lifter. And it's nice because it's really skinny. So those, this is like my little extension planner. And then my last planner that I wanna show you guys quickly, or hopefully quickly, <laughs> is my standard TN. And this one is from the Traveler's Company. And it houses my Hobonichi weeks. And what I use my Hobonichi weeks for is an archive planner. And why I, I like to use an archive planner, and so I have one book that if I lose some inserts, because they are single sheets, if I lose them some way or anything like that, if they get ruined, I do have a book that has all of my appointments in it, all of my memories and everything, because I write memories and appointments and everything in the weeklies. So that's what I do here. And I write to do sometimes as well. And then in the, I'm kind of going backwards. In the monthlies, I'll write all the appointments and everything. 
and stuff that's happening. Then I have like this little monthly thing I tipped in with this guy. And then I was gonna use this section for steps, but I haven't quite filled them in yet, but I wanted, that's what I wanna do. And I'm not using this for anything really. I just put some important dates down there for birthdays. Then I just have, sorry, let me just go from the front. <laughs> so this guy is from the Traveler's Company, I believe, this card holder. And then I have this Cat's Resico clear cover, clear pocket thingy. And then I printed this from Latua Notes and I put it inside the cover and then I'm using it for this cover. And then I just have some cards in here. And then I have another clear card cover on the Hobonichi from Hobonichi. And then this is the, yeah, the 2024 one. So I have the little sticker pocket that they give you. I know I need to change this to February's from Sterling Inc, but I still have to print that out. And then we just go in here. I tipped in some design paper from Plain Sheet Designs. Then I just also tipped in, it comes with a piece of plastic. I tipped that guy in to hold sticky notes. And then I put some decorations up here and some sticky notes. Then we already looked at that, looked at the months, looked at some of the weeks, like so that's how I set them up. And then I'll take this guy off, it's from the Traveler's Company as well. And then we have a note section at the back. And then this is kind of what I use to put anything. I've used a vision board there, I, I taped it in. And then I have like a self-care thing that I taped in from Posh Puppetry. Tree. Then I have a spot for goals that I was gonna write, but I haven't done that yet. Um, eyeglass, um, into just other information from doctors monthly habit tracker, habits, just a whole bunch of random stuff. And then I also tipped in or glued in self-care thing from more in treasuries. And this is from the aesthetic planner. It was a freebie. And then I have the more blank pages and their page amount comes with, where is it? 73 blank pages, which is more than enough for my archive planner. And then I just have some swatches on these, my 100 pages. I haven't used that one yet. I kind of started an interview with myself, kind of fun. Sweets to make at home. And then, yeah. So I have another pocket that I glued in back here. Oh my God, there's the February one. What the heck? Perfect, I'll put that into the front. Okay, so anyways, and then I just have some pictures back here and some cards for the front here for when the next month comes. But so that is my planner system right now as of February, 2024. And I really appreciate you watching. And if you have any questions at all, please leave them in the comments and I will do my very best to answer them. And you are awesome. Please don't forget that. Until next time, bye now.